here at Pius High School talking with Tiny, the food service director. Hi, Tiny. Hi. Nice Thanks to see for you talking today. with us today. Yeah. Tiny, what has been done in your school to bring fresh, healthy produce to the students here? I love buying farm to school products. Um, I'll tell you a little bit how I kind of got introduced to it. When I met Gary at a farm to school meeting, oh, probably two or three falls ago, um, we had a round table discussion, which was really cool, where the farmers sat in the middle and we sat on the outside and just kind of moved and rotated around and talked to each person to kind of see was there a connection and would this work for us. And uh, it was good because Gary was just getting started on his process and then um, he said, well, I can't give you, ever supply you everything, but I can give you, and I said, I don't depend on you to give me everything. I can, you know, have my suppliers provide other things. But um, it's been just, that was just a great way to get it started. So then I buy from Nebraska Co-op, but I probably buy more now from the individual farmers. I pay less. The service is there, just, you know, they kind of know what I want to use, so that's kind of how I do the process. Sure, and why is this important to your school? Well, I think it's important for a couple reasons. From a personal standpoint, um, I came from a small town. My dad ran a grain elevator, and dad always said, buy locally. So that's what I always proceeded to do, was to buy from local people. I think we need to support our local farmers. I think their products are phenomenal and just gorgeously beautiful wonderful food when the order comes it's kind of like Christmas just seeing all this great food when it comes in so and I think for the kids they deserve the best products that we can give them um, so it's just it's been great this time of year I know it's going to wind to a close here pretty soon but it's just just been exciting to have all this great food what can other schools do to bring this type of food into their cafeteria I think just start the process and you know with school nutrition they're really recommending that you know we do scratch cooking and I'm firm believer in that. We have at least a recipe a day, usually sometimes two. But like for example, last week we had um, uh, turkey caprese sandwiches on ciabatta bread. Well, it was a little hip and trendy for the kids, but I had lots of fresh tomatoes and we used them and they were beautiful sandwiches. I think they were probably more appreciated by adults than kids, but I think that's part of my job is to be an educator to bring new foods to them. And I served it against something really strong. I don't remember offhand what it was now, but I think that makes such a difference what you what you pair it with. And then on Friday of last week, um, we had a gourmet grilled cheese and we had done those. Um, Cindy, Chef Cindy, did a presentation here. The state of Nebraska has her come in and teach 30 people. And she's a PhD and an RD and a chef. Great, wow. great background and a lot of good work on customer service. And so there was 30 in the class and we prepared 15 different items. That was our lunch. And one of them was the gourmet grilled cheese, which had fresh spinach, two kinds of cheese, and fresh tomatoes and Italian seasoning. And we probably made 200, 250, and we paired it with pizza. I mean, the pizza being very strong. Mm -hmm. And then, and what I've been trying to do too lately is put out every day what my menu is, so that I can maybe get a few more staff to come, yeah. just to kind of get them enticed with what we're serving. What has the response been by your students, staff members, and parents serving this kind of food? I think good. Somebody actually saw me at church Saturday night and just said, oh gosh, your food's just been grand lately. And it's just like, well, I, I hope it's grand all the time. But having these new farm to school things, like last week one day we had fresh roasted green beans. And then if somebody from farm to school maybe just has, you know, like 10 pounds of asparagus or and 20 pounds of something, I'll just take it. And my staff is so good about roasting the pan separately the temperature that they need to cook at and then combining them and they're beautiful and then there's uh, another nice potato product that's actually frozen you can throw with it if you don't have fresh potatoes and it's just beautiful colors beautiful taste and we roast them in our oven so the kids really like that they love the roasted vegetables and if you look at our fruit and vegetable bar too when we're done there's three of them and they're just packed full of good stuff so what advice do you have for other schools again going forward with bringing in fresh produce i think just try it i think kids deserve really good food i think you're uh, you get a reputation as being someone who takes good care of them and that gives them the best food they can have. I'm, I'm not one for much process. I believe that they deserve to have good, just good, solid food. Sure. And what can parents do at home to keep this going? Maybe take an exa example from that. You know, I don't know. And there's sometimes with a recipe, a kid will never have had it. I know last year one time we had quinoa. <laughs> it was kind of funny because they're they didn't want to act like they didn't know what it was, but a lot of them didn't know what it was. Sure. And so you just keep reintroducing things like that. And, and I know the parents get the menu, so hopefully they look at it and think, well, maybe that's something I can serve at home. And their kids will tell them, like I'm going to physical therapy, and he'll say, oh, my daughter just loved such and such sandwich. And, you know, so it's just, I, I hear it kind of those ways. So. And tell us what you're having for lunch today. Today we are having Philly steak sandwiches on flatbread, but we've used fresh um, farm 
peppers and onions. And then we're also having chicken pot pie on mashed potatoes with jalapeno cornbread. Tiny, tell us some of the steps you take to make your program work. Well, I think it's really important. I guess I kind of run it as a business too, and I think that's an important part of it. We serve breakfast every day, and we also have a big a la carte program where we sell lots of different snacks that meet the SMART snack guidelines. And we're open every day after school till four. And that brings us in a couple hundred dollars every day, so that adds up that I can afford then to buy the kids good food, fresh food. I'm not a much of a process kind of girl. I like fresh food, and that allows me to do that. And we're serving probably about 850 to 900 kids every day. So we go through our food fast, but we serve them good, solid food. Thank you for talking with us today, Tiny. You're welcome.